On day four this morning, we take a quick shuttle to Los Waymoles Private Nature Reserve, which is named after the endangered waymole deer. The reserve's 22 square miles provide protection to a variety of plants and wildlife, including condors, foxes, and pumas. Our hike follows a trail through the Linga Forest. The trail parallels and intersects with the Diablo River to Laguna del Diablo, where we'll stop for lunch facing the Congli Edo Glacier. The Los Huemo Reserve is a private 22 square mile reserve just north of Val Chaltan and bordering the Los Glacias National Park. It was created 15 years ago to preserve the ecology of this area and to protect it from development. Experts were brought in to assess the ecology, geology, plants and wildlife of the park and help develop a reserve that would highlight the beauty of the reserve while helping to preserve it. The trail to Laguna del Diablo follows the Rio Diablo upstream through a forest and crossing the river via hanging bridges. You'll come upon a more exposed, rocky section prior to reaching the glacial lagoon. The hanging bridges seemed a little old and rickety and we were a bit apprehensive crossing the river, but we gathered up our courage and crossed and even took a few pictures on the way. The Puesto Cagliero, a mountain hut located on the shores of Laguna del Diablo, offers basic accommodations for those who wish to spend the night there. We were fortunate to be able to use this hut for our tour leaders to introduce us to Argentina's national drink, mate. Refilled, we head back down Laguna Verde and Laguna Azul with spectacular vistas of Fitzroy's northwest face. This afternoon, we take some time to relax and enjoy the stunning views of Fitzroy and the surrounding peaks to take some pictures with it as the clouds give way for us to see this magnificent landmark. With the beauty of Fitzroy in the background, our group just couldn't take enough pictures of it. This evening, we join our trip leaders for an introduction to Argentine wines before another memorable dinner at Patagonia's Ecodomes. Reflecting on our short stay at Patagonia Ecodomes, 
I wish we could stay a couple more days. This being our last night here seems too short because of how we have grown together as a group and with Patagonia's Fitzroy Mountain Peaks. Just like the fall season is the end of a memorable year, this day seems the same to me and I wish I could bottle it up and take it with me. As I put another log in the fireplace, I cannot stop looking at the view of the Fitzroy Peak staring back at us. Good night everyone and look forward to our next adventure tomorrow.